Yo guys, welcome to my weekly lab layout guide that I do every week just showing you guys like some efficient ways of running lab and learning the layouts and stuff. In this video I'm going to be doing two Gift of the Goddess runs. Uh, the first one I'm going to be going into detail how the lab works and then different Azaro phases and stuff and then the second one's going to be kind of like a speed run. These are the higher tier labs so I'll be taking my time with them just so I can have more time to explain to you guys what each thing does. And I'll show you guys locations of dark shrines and gauntlets on the way and the most efficient path. I'll also have a map up in the corner that will show you what room I'm in and just a little bit of a navigation guide. So here we go. So the first room is going to have a dark shrine and a gauntlet. So uh, the, either the dark shrine or the gauntlet is going to be over here. And if they're not here, then it will be at the other spot. So here's the gauntlet. I'm not going to do it. This is an escort gauntlet. I would only recommend doing it if this has a curious lockbox because it has an extra key in it. Other than that, in my opinion, it's not worth the time. So either the dark shrine or the escort gauntlet's going to be there. And then the other spawn location where the other one will be is over here. And it should be to the left. Yeah, so right here. So the gauntlet or the uh, dark shrine will either be here or on the other spot. And say the gauntlet's here, then the dark shrine will be on the other spot. The dark shrine's on the other spot, then the gauntlet will be here. So we're going to take this door. It's a little bit faster as it's one less room. And in this room, we're going to be going up and to the left. There's nothing in here of importance. So rule of thumb is, is uh, if you turn like up, before a trap thing. So we haven't hit a trap thing yet. We're gonna have to go left early and then that will be your trap thing. And then we'll have to keep going left. And there we go. So now we got a trial. So the first one's gonna have gargoyles. I am gonna kill him because Azaro is already pretty juiced up. I don't know what he's got with this. Uh, monsters, maximum life. So he does increase damage. So gargoyles will increase his damage, his attack speed, and uh, health. Make him more tanky. On a normal uber lab, I wouldn't care, but in this one, I'm going to... Uh, you are so I actually have to avoid stuff. Possible to be one-shot still for me. Chip away at him a little bit. The rule of thumb, just roll, run around circles. It's the easiest way to avoid his stuff if you're waiting for like phases to come up. Okay, I'm gonna stop attacking him. I don't wanna push him yet. So if you wanna push him right away, just uh, just quickly kill him. If you wanna get rid of all the gargoyles and you have to wait. If they don't have the beam on them, then they'll take a lot longer to kill. So you just wait for the beam to come on them, and then uh, then you're good. So the next area is going to have a puzzle So in the go and a golden door. In the golden door areas, it's all going to stay the same. It's never going to uh, be any different for the most part. There's one room it is, but not this one. So with this puzzle, you just hit everything once, and then and then get your loot. So if it's a curious lockbox, they don't have an extra key in it. I don't normally do gauntlets, but I'm just doing it to show you guys. So the golden key room is going to be here. It's going to be a giant circle, and there's going to be a golden key in here and a gauntlet. The gauntlet will always be in the bottom left. So I'll uh, run through that so you can show you guys as well. I won't be doing it on the second uh, video of this, though. So this gauntlet's kind of annoying because the uh, spikes will stop you a lot. There you go. So we got a trove. So it's only going to have pretty much uh, what you would get out of a chest at the end except a few uh, things that can not can only drop in those chests, like dust door. Which I'm due for a pair of those. I haven't had one in a while. 
So here's the little uh, gauntlet thing for the golden key. You just gotta flick two switches on each side and it'll open the door. Just need to be careful. These things poison D-Gen hurts quite a bit on, uh, on the level 83 lab. So now we want to take the door on the right because that's a little bit faster than the door on the left. So this area is going to have a silver door. Be at one or two spots again. Trying to figure out what layout this part is. I haven't done this room yet. Okay. So we're gonna have to go up here. And then head in here. So the the silver door is going to either be to the left here or to the right. So it'll either be over here, which it is. I don't have a key to open it. Or it'll be over here, which it isn't. It'll be right up in here. And then we want to take the door here to the uh, right. So this room's going to have bears. Normally, in a normal level 75 lab, they're not too threatening. On the level 83 labs, they're actually one of the worst. One of the worst ones, because they just do a lot of damage when they're this high level. So I just, this is kind of like how I take him. So you just want to keep hitting him and you don't want to let him charge up. So I just wait for him to do his wave attack, go around. Oops, I almost went right into that. Wave attack again, over here. Like I said, you just don't want him to charge up. There we go. So the next area is going to have our one and only Dark Shrine. Oh, we've got two Dark Shrines. So this will be the second Dark Shrine. So it's going to be in one of two spots. It's either going to be over here. Kind of like the first room. I think it was, yeah, the first room. So it'll either be over here, which it is not. Grab my markers. Or it'll be up and to the right here. If you want to go up here, there's going to be a door here, but we're not going to take this one. Right before the door, you want to turn right, and it should should be over here, but it's not. Wow. Maybe it was down there. All right, detour. Oh, yeah, I just had to run a little bit farther. I had to show you guys up there anyway. Come on, something good. Yeah. Not really that good. All right, so let's head and kill Zaro now. Actually, we got another couple screens yet. We got Argus as well. Which, if he's in the way, I usually kill him. A little extra loot at the end never hurt anybody. Plus, you need to open up chests for the achievement if you're going for it, so it'll kind of kind of help with that. A few extra labs that you'll have to do, or a few less extra labs you have to do. So this room's going to have Argus in it, so he, since there's two uh, exits, he's either going to be to the left of the entrance or to the right of the entrance. So this one is to the left. I'm going to be careful here a bit. So once he gets... Uh, see what I mean? He like chunked me really good there. And then we'll continue on here. So if Argus isn't there, he would be right in here. So since we haven't ran or went through a trap sequence yet, it means that we have to take an early left, as I call it. So you want to go way left, and you can kind of run down a little bit. It's going to feel like you're going backwards, but I can assure you that that's not the case. So now we got the trap sequence, run through that. And then go in here. 
And then the next we want to go up and to the right, and then it's a zero time. And then we get to have fun enchanting our helmet six times. Six or seven. That's six additional, so seven. Or something a little fun. So the fire room, in my opinion, is the easiest room because you get this huge area to run around. And then when the fire is not up, you can run around on the outside as well. I was kind of worried here for a minute. I got out of my little routine. Alrighty, so we have uh, three keys. Let's see what we get. Silver flask. All right, we got our seven in chance. Let's see what we get. If we get anything good? Uh, nope. 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 Uh, uh, maybe. Nope. Nope. So uh, we might have gotten one with this one. So uh, yeah, nothing for that lab. So I'm going to run another one and just go a little quicker just to show you guys like the quicker run out. I'm just going to put this in here and I'll price it out after. Put all this crap in here. There we go. All right, one more lab. We'll do another uh, Gift of the Goddess as well. So this one, I'm not going to show you guys any of the stuff because I just did. I'm just going to run through it real quick just to show you guys like a kind of a speed run thing, but this is also a higher level lab. So it won't be su as fast as like a level 75 lab. All right, so we're going to look for the Dark Shrine or the Gauntlet over here. So we got the Dark Shrine. Hopefully for something good. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but I guess it'll have to do. An extra unique item. So these offerings that I'm running are like special offerings. These ones are actually, this one was 45 chaos each. I think I bought one for 40 and one for 45. So they're a little pricey. Oops, thought I had a trap sequence there. So the next area, we just go up to the left. Can't remember if this is an early left or not. Only ran this lab a couple times. I usually run like a whole video's worth of labs and then do this, so it's like really fresh. All right, so the first room's gonna be gargoyles. I'm actually gonna switch the conk effect. Give me a little bit more dips. waiting for that attack. Like I said, just run around in circles. It makes it a lot easier to avoid all the stuff. And the other gargoyle. So that was just a physical attack that hit me for like 7k. That's why I'm like trying to be careful is I can actually die on these pretty easily. This takes a big crit. So I only got about eight, 8k HP I'll say. All right, so now we got the golden door. Not too much physical mitigation. Here we go. Like I said, just run around the circle. If you're doing the gauntlets, there's one on the bottom left here. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was a uh, puzzle one, wasn't it? 
No, I missed that one already. Might go back and get it. Maybe not. It depends. See how I feel. Grab our golden key. I'll pass on it. I'll just keep going. Make the video a little shorter. I'm gonna go to the right door. Through here. So now we're gonna have a dark shrine. I think. Oh no, I'm looking ahead here. Just gonna go up and to the right. No! Holy crap, I thought my game crashed. I was like, that's 50C right down the pooper. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm glad it didn't happen during this. That went pretty smooth, actually. I was worried because my mana was low. Alright, next area has a dark shrine in it. Here we go. So it's either going to be over here or up into the... Way up into the right. This time it's down here. I'll actually run all the way down here this time on like the last lab I just did. Yeah, I guess this is okay. I would definitely prefer a crit shine for these though. Head up over here. Oh yeah, this is the one where I go really far right. Grab my levers. And then, got Argus in here. So he'll be on the right side this time. Last time he was on the left. Oh, here we go. So he's getting mad, so we're just gonna kite him around a little bit. And once he uh, takes a chill pill, Fortunately, this shrine helps a lot. We get my mana up pretty quick. And then we need an early left. And then we just gotta go up and to the right. Alright, we need a good enchant here so I can recoup my money. Well, that fight went a lot better. 
All right, here we go. We have two keys and seven enchants. Let's see what we got. Oh, four keys. Seemed like a lot of loot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, enchant time. Let me grab another business in case I get another one. I bought a whole bunch just in case. All right, here we go. Toxic rain, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. Okay, molten strike extra projectiles. I'll grab another helmet here. We got one that's okay. Dark packed AoE. Volatile dead cast speed. So a lot of those enchants are really bad. But I might be able to sell this for half an exalt. I might be able to sell this for a half an exalt. I don't know how many melee characters use that, but uh, and then we have a the despair curse effect for probably half an exalt maybe. I don't know if that will sell. Just kind of going on a gut feeling on that one. So yeah, that was my lab layout video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll have some more lab loot videos coming out through the week on Tuesday and Thursday, and uh, the loot roundup on Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great one.